Morning. Yes, sir. Stay safe. Appreciate it. All right, morning, everybody. It is about 6.45, and we are in spot. I'm here with Cody and his wife, Kristen, and uh, we're glassing up, hoping to see some deer moving. We're on top of this ridge, glassing into this bowl on Camp Pendleton, and um, nothing yet. It's cool. It's about it's not as cold as it has been. It's about 65 degrees. Got a little bit of overcast still. Sun sun hasn't cracked the horizon yet, so definitely shooting light. But I'm just waiting to see something move. I was talking to Cody about this. They were shooting the other day in this spot I'm at. So I'm wondering if that would push the deer to another area of this area. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, good start this morning. Felt great. Got some good pump up music. Got my coffee in. Feeling it. No Jacob today, so it's gonna be a hard hunt. If we feel like moving, we will. And uh, sh shouldn't be an issue. All right, I'll check in with you guys when I can. And um, if something pops on my mind, I'll make sure to let you guys know. All right, so we found two deer. We're trying to classify what they are. Um, Cody thinks one's a buck. And it looks like there's a doe or like a yearling fawnish looking thing. So, <sighs> already got some deer, which is good news. All right, so we've confirmed it's a buck and a doe. And Cody's gonna go get his spotting scope because we don't know if it's a spike or hopefully it forks at least so we can make a decide if we're gonna make a stock. But it's definitely chasing again. So I don't know if these deer are still in the rut and uh, the does are in estrus, but it's definitely following it because they dipped into a ravine and then the doe popped back out. Unfortunately, they're walking away from us. So hopefully, hopefully when it turns away from us, we can see its antlers and determine what it is. All right, I doubt you guys are gonna see it, but it's right in here by this bush. You should see a deer moving after a deer. All right, so we confirmed it was a little forky chasing that doe, which is good news. So they're both shooters. They dipped over this little um, this little hill, and now they're pushing away from us. Cody and Kristen are going to go look at another area to see if we can locate more deer. But as of now, we have something we can make a play on. We're just going to wait, though, to see if there's anything better. I mean, what if there is nothing better? <laughs> you never know, right? It's only 7 probably in the morning now. And... We've already seen two shootable deer, which is great. And then maybe this is where a bunch of hunters, you know, get selfish. But we're going to wait. We decided. So unless it presents a good opportunity and starts walking towards us, I'm not going to make a move on it. All right. I'm trying to make a play on that forky and that doe. So I'm slowly creeping in. I lost my selfie stick. It got ripped off when I was going through some thick stuff. But hopefully we can intercept them and make a shot. behind this bush and it's a budging spike again god damn but it has the doe with it so i could obviously take the doe it's 190 yards i have to um we're about eye level but i'm in a valley so i have to go down into a ravine and then come back up and the doe is just chilling and feeding so damn dude i thought it was like a tiny forky but like i chewed a doe over a forky anyway so i guess it doesn't matter too much but i'm in the zone now Cody just hit me up. He said he saw a big, like a big ass deer. So I'm waiting for him to reply back. Spikes in the back, Jason. It's a baby or does a younger doe, but this doe has like a whole white head almost. Not its face, but its head. It's all white between the ears and everything. It's crazy. So I'm just assuming that means it's it's an old girl, like well past her prime. So I'm going to go kill her <laughs> if the opportunity comes. But I'm chilling right now. Cody sent me a picture of this deer. He's all wide, two by two or three by three wide. 
so I don't know what he's doing. And then um, Trenton's in the area, too. He's coming. He's coming to where I am to help me make a stock on this dude. But I might just let him know where to go so he can make a stock and I can watch. Like, this shit's crazy. I've never seen anything like this. It literally looks like a grandma. Like, I don't know if the meat's better because it's older, like, fine, like, wine type stuff. Like, it's aged, if you will, but I'm not in a position to make this move yet. It's dropping down into this ravine. So if it drops down, I mean, the wind... Okay, so... The wind looks like it's going, like, north. I don't know. This isn't... Like, I don't know why I'm so fascinated by a doe with a white head, probably because I've never seen one, but... It, it's cool. Like, I would consider that a trophy, because I've never seen it. Great news, I found a selfie stick. Better news, and Cody just bedded a big buck, a fork and horn and a doe. So Kristen is watching and Cody's saying where he's at. So he told me to get my ass over there. So I bailed, bailed on the grandma. Now Trenton's coming over too. So we'll have three people with bows getting ready to make a stock. Exciting, and it's only 8 a.m. Oh, this is what we deal with on Camp Hamilton. In case you're wondering, for all my East Coast archer, archers and hunters who do tree stands, this is the kind of stuff we have to walk through. Oh, I know you guys got cornfields, but we got bamboo. <laughs> all right, let's go get this buck. This deer has not stopped moving. I went from the bed, but he just keeps trucking away. I'm sweating. I'm like, probably in two miles on this little dude. <sighs> Hope we get him. So where, where we left off, um, you guys got Mike's side of the story, um, where he was down there, bumped that big buck to me, tried to call me. Um, so now my side of the story, um, I was coming over the top, top of the ridge. Uh, Mike was going down and around. It was gonna work out pretty well. Wind was in uh, the favor of both of us. Um, but um, out here in California, this stuff's pretty loud. So I, uh, I was kind of moving in, creeping in. I probably should've took my shoes off, but I had word that the, the deer weren't there anymore, so I wasn't um, too scared about bumping them. I didn't necessarily know they were there. Um, but I ended, up, I ended up bumping them, hearing them going, um, and I heard them bombing off to the right, down um, towards Mike. So I was pretty pumped. I was just waiting for the phone call, like, hey, I got blood. Um, and I then, uh, so I met up with our spotters. I could see them, they could see me, we start talking, and I said, hey, there's deer here. And they're like, no, they're not there. The, those deer ran down to the bottom. So I am sitting in the bed of the big buck, um, watching the deer in the bottom, have my bow on my lap, sitting there ready, um, on the phone, just at, just talking about what just happened, where the deer were. And I just heard some, some little uh, twigs crack to my right. Um, and sure enough, the big buck was, doubling back, coming back to where he knew was safe. Um, I don't know if he thought that me bumping him um, and then him getting bumped by Mike was the same guy, but he was coming back up to where he was bedded. So I'm sitting there, I uh, have the phone, 
I'm on the phone. I drop the phone, uh, and I have my bow, and I'm like, I'm messing around, and he's just walking right at me, just walking, walking, 15, 12, 10, and I'm just trying to get it on. And at this point, he's facing me, so I can't, I can't do the whole drawback and everything. He would have, he would have busted. Um, he gets to six yards, and then he just starts walking right next to me, right next to this bush. Um, and I, there, I mean, I could have hit him with a toothbrush like he's just right here like I was just like ah so I'm trying to wait and um, there's not you don't necessarily practice that shot where you draw really quick and shoot at six um, I had my pin set to 60 50 40 so it, it was gonna be a crapshoot either way um, anyways I tried to do the old Robin Hood quick draw and he busted me I'm at six yards I, I wasn't expecting much um, and he went down went down to the left and then uh, and then from there, I never saw him again. Uh, other people got some eyes on him, but um, that's the last I saw of him. Um, but it's pretty crazy how going from both of us splitting up and then both of us seeing that buck right away. So it almost worked out. That was close. We're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Yeah. So. All right, a little break in the video. We are going to be announcing the results of the free giveaway and who will be wearing a brand new pair of Leo Optics sunglasses. Mine are in the car. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have an app on my phone and it's just a spin the wheel, so I entered everyone's name. If I, if you say you entered and your name wasn't in the comments, um, it is what it is, I don't know what to tell you. So we're gonna go from this, you're gonna have a screenshot and then I'll announce the winner and yeah, that's it. So here we go. Brand K! Congratulations, man. James, I'm sorry, that sucked, dude. That shit was just, 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 uh, just kept ticking. But congratulations. I will find out a way to contact you or contact me. You can email me at MikeyARogers at gmail.com or reach me on Instagram at TLOMikeRogers. And for those of you that didn't win, hey, that sucks, but don't forget you do get a 15% discount using the promo code TLOMike. Um, at checkout on the Leo Optics website. All right, guys, that's it. We'll be doing more of these as the time comes. So keep watching, stay subscribed, keep commenting, keep liking the videos, and um, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, everybody, we are back at the spot. I didn't tell you we left, but we left. All of us took a little lunch break. I came back to where I was this morning to see if I could find Granny again, and James, which is Trenton's friend, is texting me right now saying he just found some does. Okay, that's good news. It's two o'clock. So me and James are in the same area we were this morning. You guys haven't seen James. But then uh, Trent and Cody and Kristen, his wife, they went to another area. So we're spread out again. But this morning, all five of us were in the same area at once, which is crazy. And intense morning. We're at 12 deer, I think, total maybe. Maybe 15 between all of us. And yes, James just said two does better down. So I'm going to go to James and see if we can make a stock on these does. Keep you guys posted. Was 40 yards away and James was saying they kicked to the right and if that was the case I should have seen him because I was coming in from the right and way right so I, I don't know what happened they said they went down this little valley that I'm in right now but I haven't seen anything moving I haven't bumped anything all right not much has happened since that stock did a little bit of glass in I take big old dookie so there's that and um, right now I am walking in position for my sunset stalk. It's nice, my name's Sunset. My sunset walk. Um, I'm gonna put myself above where I saw old grandma, and hopefully she's still in there. And um, that'll that'll be awesome. That'll be a trophy in itself if I get her. So we're gonna go up there. We're gonna sit. I got James on the ridge where I where I normally glass. He's gonna be looking in for me. Tell me if he sees anything. So we have two different angles going into it. 
It's always good to hunt with a buddy or have buddies to hunt with or even scouting. Just give them a pair of binos and have them help you out. So, because uh, the more eyes, the better, you know? All right, let's uh, get there, see how it looks, and hopefully, hopefully we see her. Oh, they said hunting would be fun. We're gonna have a great time. I love exploring. I got the straight drop. I'm in the bottom of this thing and literally everything is getting stuck. Okay. I have to climb that. Oh god. Hold on. You guys want a sticker? Let me know. Still got a couple in stock. All right, we're back in the garage. <laughs> what a hell of a day, man. Everything, it was it was a great day. We ended up seeing like combined, I don't even know how many deer we saw, probably close to 20 deer out of all of us. I got to make an amazing stock on three does that I never saw, so that's awesome. Um, I, I still can't get over what happened with that. I was talking to James after we ended up meeting up again and he said I was close to 40 yards and they busted to the right which was the way I was coming in. Like there was that bush and I was coming. So here's the bush. I was coming from the right. I don't know if this is your right or your left. But I was coming from the right. He said they popped forward and like hopped my way. And he, he was shocked I didn't see him. But if they took off, like he says they took off, I definitely should have heard him. I didn't hear anything. It was a little windy, but not that windy. So it is what it is, but great video. I got to make two stalks today. Um, the last The last area I was in, was I, I got that vantage over where I saw grandma and it was just it was like walking through a field of like eight foot tall Cheetos it was crazy it was so loud I actually ended up busting her a little later um like it was weird it's like a roller coaster but at the very end of it I ended up seeing her with her yearling or fawn again and I can't believe she used to like pushing babies out but it was pretty crazy, but hey, it was a great, it was a great day. Um, made a new friend, James, um, and it was all of us, all of us definitely put in a lot of work today to find a bunch of deer. Me and Cody were just on the phone before I'm recording this section, and we decided that we're, we definitely have to try to hunt together as much as possible, like any of us, not just me and Cody, to give us the best chance, because we, the amount of deer we saw today was solely because all of us were looking in the same area, and we were able to make stocks together, so. Don't get me wrong, I love solo hunting, but uh, it's always nice to have someone to talk to through the day and to help you do a spot and stalk, because that's what it's really about. Also on Instagram, no, follow me on Instagram at TLO Mike Rogers, same as the channel, and you'll get more day-to-day -day stuff from me, because I do a lot of stories on there. All right, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry I couldn't harvest a deer, but it was a great day overall. It was great to be out there. It was great to be going through the thick stuff. It was great to be active and not being lazy. I love doing this stuff, and I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. All right, guys, you guys know the drill. Drop a like, drop a comment, click subscribe, and let's show them what San Diego is all about. Peace.